As you can see, there's an art show going on here in uh, Clarkdale. This is the 25th anniversary of the art show. And uh, it's been real successful in the past, and you can see all different kinds of art in here. It looks pretty nice. There's so many creative people. It uh, looks really nice in here. We'll get some of the artists and talk to some of the artists and explain their art. Uh, I understand they get about three or four hundred people here doing this show. So, it's really, really nice. We're going to have some music in here. I think, I think there's some music right now. So we'll get some more people on here and, and uh, enjoy some of the art, some of the crazy people in here. on the other TV program yeah. before you end up. I've this got a sign up on right now. There's a, I have a YouTube video running right now. And Michael, uh, let's see, Michael Art 2011 on YouTube. So I really appreciate anybody checking that out. Yeah, so how long has it been on there? Uh, it's been up for about a month now. A month? Yeah. Have you had any feedback yet? I've got just personal friends letting me know, but I haven't heard from the outside community. Yeah, it takes time. But it will take some time. But how many times have you been to this event? How many times have we been to this event? I've been doing this uh, since 2002. 2002? And uh, I actually started out as a movie helping set it up at oh. the very beginning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You live here in Clarkdale, right? Yes, I'm in Clarkdale. I've lived here all since 1947. So, you, have you been an artist all your life? I, I can't hear. I can't hear. Well, you, can, well, you can walk up a little closer. You know, have you been an artist? Or you, you can stay right here. Yeah. You know, I just focus on me and focus on that. Before I hit the so, have you been an artist all your life? No, no. I, I'm self-taught at it. I, I picked it up. I, I've always wanted to do art. I've done stained glass, and then, and then I picked up lamp work. I make marbles, other things out of uh, glass, and then I found this material, and it just blossomed with me. Yeah, it's very unusual, very, very unique, I think. Thank you. I think once it catches on, you, you'll do really good with it. Anyway, I'm going to let you go, Mike. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Now, let's see what happens. Some of the Zudic here, I think it's uh, going to be playing all night. And they're pretty talented. Kind of an older group. And the bass and the drums and everything. And Thank you. 
in Clarkdale. Uh, as you can see, I specialize in wood, 90% uh, of which are uh, salvaged, recycled, or otherwise scrounged. A lot of the stuff I get came from uh, Florida. Most of the mahogany and teak I have here came from boats that were being destroyed after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, a lot of the uh, birdhouses that I have made here are from salvaged wood as well. That's very nice stuff. Uh, it's all salvaged, the same from Katrina. Yeah, a lot of it. We lost a lot of trees in the U.S. Katrina came through. Oh, yeah? Before it hit uh, New Orleans. Oh, yeah. I saved a lot of the limbs and uh, a lot of that stuff. Well, it has a history to it, huh? Yeah, this is, this is mango, for example. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Is, is, is the stand also from that? Did you make the stand out of that too? Pardon me? The stand, did you make the stand out of that? Uh, that's actually from some uh, Cuban mahogany that I got in a garage sale. Oh, really? That's uh, from a tree that was uh, down in Key West in the 50s. I, I, I like wood too. I, I work with wood too, but it's a different, different type of wood. This Cuban mahogany is extremely rare and hard to find. You know? Yeah. But you, you, you've you been working with wood all your life? Yeah. I'm, I started out as a carpenter, building houses, done oh, yeah. cabinet work, worked in furniture shops. Oh, yeah. I've been doing wood all my whole life. Well, I, love I love wood. I, I build furniture once in a while. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, I would them from way back. So, uh, you actually sell pieces? You sell pieces? Yeah, actually, I'm showing in two galleries up in uh, Jerome right now. Oh, oh gallery, gallery 527 and the Laughing Raven. Oh, do you want to give out a website or phone number for yourself? Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah, but do you want to give it out? Hey, okay. my yeah. name's Peter Wayne. Yeah. I'm at 928-274-8383. Okay, great. Okay, Peter. Some nice stuff here. Too much stuff in, and they gotta hold the table and additional stuff over there. Oh, they really? The first okay. pallet over there. Yeah. Just out of sight around the corner. Well, thanks a lot, Peter. There's quite an event, a lot of people here. I guess this is really well known in the Verde Valley. I'm sure it's on the internet in different. Uh, oh, is that yours? There's, there's a lot of creative people here, and, and uh, as, I, as I've said many times on the different shows I've done, that you know, everybody has some kind of a talent, some kind of creativity. And, and, and we, you can see it right here. Yeah, where's your stuff at? Pieces here, yeah, really, they're really neat. It goes down here. Uh, no, this is the only piece I have in here. Oh, this is the only one. Okay, okay, I got it then. I like that. It's real. I like it. It's, 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 it's kind of a modern piece. Of it. It's an abstract. Abstract, yeah. Yeah, none of uh, what they call an abstract. It, it does have a uh, title and a 
has a reason to it, but a lot of people still call it none of Jacobs. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, kind of, kind of on the order of Jackson Pollock a little bit, huh? Yes. That's very nice. Uh, so, have you, are you doing other art pieces, or is this just your uh, original? I usually do portraits in watercolor. Oh, do you? But uh, I do abstracts. I do portraits. I do landscapes. I don't like landscapes, but I, yeah. I've been known to do them. So, how long you lived in Clarkdale? Uh, this time, I've been in Clarkdale 20 years. 20 years? Huh? I lived in Camp Verde and Verde Valley in the 40s on my grandfather's farm uh, during the war years. So, so you, you know a lot of people around here? I know uh, quite a few. Uh, so many of them are new people now that I really don't know that many. It, it's, it's still kind of a sleepy town, isn't it? Because the residential area is really kind of like the 50s, and it's really nice. Oh, Clarkdale is a very laid-back town. Yeah, laid-back town. Uh, it's a town that, uh, you know, you can go to the coffee shop, sit there, and know people that walk in. Yeah. Every Saturday, we have the old man's club at Miller's Coffee Shop, where some of the old men get together and uh, yeah. solve all the problems that they were heard. And uh, a lot of our artists have been there. Oh, great. You know, I'm, I'm going to let you go now. So do you want to give out a phone number or anything or any kind of... Well, my email address is artisttommy, and that's with an I-E, at yahoo.com. So thank you very much, and uh, enjoy the art shows.